Hello friends. Today we'll look into how to make your own DIY that is do it yourself potting mix for the succulents. Firstly the concept behind making a successful potting soil mixture and the different formula or compositions for indoor succulent or cacti mix, outdoor succulent soil mix and finally the universal soil mix for succulents and cacti coming up. Let's start by talking about what you should be looking for in a succulent soil. As I already discussed by referring to succulents, we mean always uh, succulents plus cacti. Hence succulent soil also refers to cactus mix. Well, now let's look into the basic concept for making your own DIY succulent mixture or the succulent soil. Succulents needs to be planted in a soil that holds enough water for them to absorb and but still one that dries out quickly so that the roots won't rot that's because succulents absorb water from the air around them not through direct contact with the water constantly sitting in a wet soil causes their roots to rot and eventually the plant dies hence soil with good drainage is crucial for succulents the main benefits of making your own DIY succulent soil mix are that it's cheaper and you control the ingredients and you can modify this succulent soil recipe to get the perfect soil mix that your succulents will love. And uh, one more thing to notice, several environmental factors can cause the soil to dry out. So different types of soil will be best suited for different growing areas that is the area where you live as well as the location where you keep your succulents that is indoor or outdoor. Then we shall classify the succulent soil mix into indoor succulent mix and outdoor succulent mix or the cactus mix. And lastly, we'll make a universal potting mix for succulents. Firstly, we'll start with the indoor succulent soil mix. Since indoor uh, environments do not provide much air circulation around indoor pots, we need to wisely plan the perfect succulent soil for the health of indoor succulents. The formula for indoor potting mix for succulents uh, usually consists of a soil with large particle size roughly about a quarter inch or 6 mm. This succulent soil recipe works extremely well for indoor succulents. You can use one part pine bar fines. It is available online. You can purchase this. It's also called bonsai bark pines. If you do not have this, do not worry. You can even use peat moss or even cocoa peat. If you're using cocoa peat, watering frequency should be lesser because it holds water. Then one part pine bark wine fines or uh, cocoa peat. Then one part perlite or you can also use vermiculite. But for indoor mix, better use perlite because vermiculite retains a lot of water within it. Then one part crushed granite or marble chips or even you can use coarse sand particles. Let's talk a little about why this mix is uh, really good for succulents. The pine bark provides an excellent organic element and holds water but it also has air pockets for ventilation and it takes a long time to break down. The perlite or vermiculite absorbs some of the water and slowly releases it. I have discussed in detail about perlite and vermiculite differences in a separate video. You can find the link in uh, the video description. Well, lastly, the granite or the marble chips allows the water to flow among all the particles in the pot. Since this mix is very porous, water flows or drains out easily. Plus, there is plenty of air which means the roots are never left sitting in water. Then coming to the outdoor succulent soil recipe for potted succulents. If you want to use the same indoor potting mix for succulents, then you might need to water them on a daily basis. So the formula you can use is one part coconut coir or cocoa peat or peat moss or even sand or a mix of these can be used. One part of this and one part perlite or vermiculite or even crushed granite or marble chips or a mix of all these as one part. The coconut coir absorbs water easily and holds little longer and also drains out very well. Plus it's very lightweight so your succulent pots will also be lighter. Then coming to the universal potting mixture for succulents, you can use it both indoors and outdoors. You can make use of uh, one part good quality potting soil, one part perlite or vermiculite, one part gravel or crushed granite or marble chips as you've seen and also coarse sand as a replacement of this 
You can also consider adding 10% compost, vermicompost or cowden powder to the mix, whether it is indoor or outdoor, but it is optional. Well, the conclusion is there is no one way to prepare a succulent soil mix and any mix that drains well should support healthy succulent growth. By experimenting, you can find the one that works the best for you. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and share the video on your social networks. Also watch the video till the end. This is how you can support the channel because the video and the channel get more weightage if you give thumbs up, share the video and also comment below the video. And also very important, watch the entire length of the video so that I can produce more interesting videos on gardening topics. Also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!